Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video. Like the last time I filmed was in May and then I uploaded that video in July and here we are in October. But um, I actually want to touch on the subject about Every Damn Day Fitness having his Instagram page deleted. But first I'm going to get into a little bit of what's been going on in my life and my fitness journey so far. So, um... Basically, since that my last video, which was trying on my larger clothes, I have gotten a personal trainer and I got a gym membership and she, sadly, my trainer ended up leaving the gym I was at, but I still have online training with her. So I pay for her, pro or I have an online program. That's what I meant to say. I have an online program with her. So I have that. I pay her for that and I'm still in contact with her and I go to the gym fairly regularly, but I would like to go daily. The thing is, sometimes my work schedule like kind of messes with that. And it's a 24-hour gym, so really I have no excuse. But that's really it. I have no excuse. So I need to get into a better habit of it. When I do go, say I miss like Tuesday's workout and I go on Wednesday, I will usually double up on my workouts. So I'll do Tuesday's and Wednesday's workout or something like that. That's just usually how it goes. And... Yeah. Um, eating's been okay. I've been struggling on and off, but nothing nearly as bad as when I was at my heaviest. So I kind of, I'm not, I will, yeah, I'm kind of struggling. So with crave, I'm really struggling with cravings and I've had like a few months ago, I had like a really bad binging episode when I was on my period. Excuse me. I just drank a lot of water, but, um, I think now, though, I think I'm pretty okay, because I'm, I haven't been working, because, um, it's slow season right now for the restaurant, so I've been cooking at home, and I've been making healthier meals than what my mom, say, what my mom makes, and definitely a little bit healthier than, like, what I eat at the restaurant, so, not, and by that, I mean, the food quality at the restaurant isn't the best, so. But, what do you expect? It's a restaurant. Uh, what else do I need to touch up on really quick before I get into this nonsense? Um, oh, wait. So, I think the last time I told you, I don't know if I told you guys my weight. I think... I think the last time I told you my weight, I was like 170 or one in like the high 160s. My weight as of yesterday is like 162.8. So that's where I'm at now. I've been kind of yo-yoing between like the same three pounds. So I'll be like 165. I'll get down to like 162. And then I like yo-yo up to 165 on my, depending on what I've been eating or like my period will start. So I'll gain water weight. And it, it's been kind of annoying. But I also, I lift weights now. So I know my weight, like, I don't know what my weight is com comprised of, per se. So, and I know the scale isn't everything. And I've been kind of struggling with the number on that. But honestly, I just need to put the scale away and kind of just focus on my health. Um, and my overall well-being, like, all of, all of that. Anyways, that's enough about me. I need to kick it into high, high gear. Because I've been saying I wanted to share my fitness journey, my health journey with everyone just to help people out. Um, I've been following people like on program situation, which I, I love her reactions to Amberlynn and Chantel. I think it's amazing. Um, Charlie Gold. I follow Every Damn Day Fitness, who I'm about to talk about right now. Uh, Swole Normus, Michelle McDaniels, Obesa Beast. Uh... I follow Blogilates on and off. I've kind of, like, fallen off the train with her. I know she's doing a whole 90-day weight loss thing just to get her health on track, which is good for her. Um, but in terms of her workouts, and like, I haven't really been following her. I used to. I used to follow her, like, religiously, but now I'm just like, eh. And I also like the Soul Vengers. Like, uh, they <laughs> their content makes me laugh sometimes, especially the main not the main three every damn day fitness is kind of just like to the point and he cusses a lot and i fucking cuss a lot so it's like 
fine. But Swole Normus and Michelle and Nathaniel, there's still some point. And obe- John from Obese to Beast is just really sincere about what his message is and the fact he lost all that weight and is, he's fine now. I'm just like, whoa, shit, dude. Like, congrats. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, So I'm just going to get into it and talk about Alan Roberts and Every Damn Day Fitness Instagram page getting taken down. So I'm not sh- he reposts a lot of things like he regrams things from fat acceptance pages and talks of, he has a hashtag called F your logic standards because sometimes they're just about not straight off the I can't talk I'm so sorry they are spouting off straight up bullshit sometimes like it makes no sense some of the things that they've been saying and I guess this chick and I, her username ex- escapes me right now. I think it's Marina Sings or something like that. She told her followers to report him and because he's basically stealing content. Now, sweetheart, I'm sorry your feelings are hurt and that Alan is, expl- is saying facts. But honestly, once you put a text post on your Instagram page, it's on the internet. It belongs to the internet. Like, I'm sorry. And, yeah, the, to a lot of people, the line of, like, what they put on their page and, like, what's really theirs, it gets kind of blurred, but I, I'm not sure how to justify, like, what's what at this point, but long story short, and the main point is, it's on, it's online, like, anyone can see it, anyone has access to it, like, you don't have, you don't have the right to file copyright claims or anything like that. I don't remember exactly if what that's what it was for, but I know that's one of the big things that she's been bashing him on was he doesn't create his own content. Like, bitch. He has his own business with his wife. He's got content. Like, honey, this is just social media. It's not everything. I'm sorry, but it's not. Sorry your ego's hurt, but... But another thing that it's just really sad that an account that's promoting health and fitness and is pointing out the flaws in this movement and these arguments has been shut down. Like at one point, I obviously his page wasn't manually reviewed by an actual person, but straight up, it pisses me off. Straight up, it's bullshit. And I, it's just frustrating. And so Normus, he did a podcast on the whole thing. I haven't listened to it yet. And he brings up the subject of free speech. I don't want to get into that because the he's right. Honestly, like Alan has every right to speak his mind. Just like these fat acceptance people have every right to speak their minds. It's like I have the right. The same right I have to speak my mind and to spout off here and stutter every couple of sentences because I don't have my mind together. It's it's 9.32. But I'm like, I'm tired and it's just like, I'm just spouting off because I decided to wait until the last minute to film this. Because I thought, oh, I'll gather my thoughts and shit, but I'm rambling. So, there's that. But yeah, I just, straight up, I think it's bullshit. He, that page shouldn't have been taken down. And like, honestly... And this whole fat acceptance movement is a mess. But I I think I'm just going to leave my opinions on that for another video. Because I used to be part of that. And I'm really glad I jumped off the train before it got derailed. It, it's not derailed yet, unfortunately. But it's just going without a, without a, cap, um, a captain. A conductor right now. So straight up, I'm just glad I jumped that ship and that train. Long before it became this toxic mess. So, I, that's just my thought. I think it's bullshit that his page was taken down. He can defend himself. He has another Instagram. So, if you haven't figured out by now and you do follow him and you're wondering about it, his second Instagram is at Alan Roberts, E-D-D, yeah, E-D-D-F. Again, that's at Alan Roberts, E-D-D-F. Go ahead, give him a follow. Don't. Don't go and attack the 
that bitch Marant, Marina Sings or whatever. Because honestly, at the end of the day, who you're not any. If you do that, I don't think you're any better than them. So it does. It really doesn't make you any better. It's yeah, it's shitty that it, that happened, but I wouldn't go around and start flagging fat acceptance posts. But it's just sad. It really is. But I'm gonna leave off for now. I may or may not film a couple more videos. I don't think it's a good idea because I have an interview tomorrow and I honestly can't get my shit together and I stutter every other word and I'm just tripping over my words and I don't have my thoughts together. So I definitely need to figure out a better way to film this and to get my point across because like I'll have my thoughts together and then suddenly I turn on the camera and, it, and my mind just goes blank. So that's that and I will see you in the next one. Bye.